Okay, we needed to show from the last video, um, part of the video was erased, and we need to show how to get the measurement for your wheels. So there's two and a half inches of usable space that we've built into the cart already um, through the fittings. There's the base of the pipe, plus the T, plus the elbow, and then this space here is where the pipe is going to fit into it. So there's two and a half inches of usable space. And this cart in particular that we're using to substitute, our overall height is going to be nine and a half inches. This is not Ziggy's cart anymore. So these are eight inch wheels that we're using here. We set the cart height on the tape measure that we want, which is nine and a half. And we put the edge of the wheel up to that. Then we look at the center of the hub and it's at five and a half. So that's where we're gonna put our center hole, our desired height for the cart. And then we're still going to drill two more holes, one higher and one lower in case that isn't comfortable for the dog. When figuring out how long to make this pipe, you want to take into consideration how long your wheel is, but you also want to take into consideration that you're going to be possibly moving this pipe. And when you move it, you don't want it to drag on the ground. So when you move it up or down, you need it to be shorter than the diameter of the wheel so that it doesn't hit the ground when you move it. So we had two and a half usable inches. We left that hanging off the edge of the cart over here. And then we're looking to see where we can allow the length to fit from the two and a half up to the nine and a half and still have uh, movability options. So this piece overall is four and a half inches long for this cart. And again, this is not Ziggy's cart. This is a smaller cart that we're filling in how to measure wheels on. And how did I come up? I just... So another question that sometimes we're asked is, how do you know how long to make this extra part of the tube where it's not hitting? And what you want to do is make sure <laughs> that you have enough to support this last hole. If we put this last hole right on the edge, there's not enough um, PVC to support it once the bolt goes through there and it's likely to crack. So if we put it here, there's still plenty of pipe here to support it after this is drilled through. So we've covered our bases in that it's not going to drag on the ground if we move this up or down this inch. And then we've left extra room for the last hole to have support from the pipe just as reinforcement. 